Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys a few of my MAC must-haves. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So I've come to realize that a lot of the products that I actually use or have in my collection as staples on a daily basis are mostly, well not mostly, but a big part of them are from MAC and it's a brand that I don't really talk about a lot in my channel because I don't really delve into new collections that much from them or I don't know, it's just not a brand that I gravitate towards in terms of doing videos on. The other day I was at the store to replenish my daily eyeliner defining staple. So I thought I I took a look at all the MAC things that I use on a daily basis and really thought it would be a good thing to share with you guys some of the basics in my collection that I think are really great products from MAC. So I'm gonna get started. I'm going to try to do it in some sort of order. So let me begin with some face or complexion products. Now, MAC for me as a brand, I don't really gravitate towards their foundations or a lot of their powders only because I think it's the ingredients that they use in them are quite harsh. And I know across the board, they get a lot of feedback as to breaking out people i haven't really experienced that myself but i do find that they're very thick and uncomfortable but anyway there are a few that i truly truly like and i think are amazing and everyone should have them so i'm going to begin with a one foundation mac foundation that i have this is the mac face and body now every makeup artist has this in their kit for sure and if not makeup artists very serious beauty people this is just a very natural finish foundation that really just aims to even out the skin tone. It has no skincare benefits. It has no SPF. I believe it is water-based. You do have to shake it and when I have it for such a long time, it can separate like mine is probably already at this point. It comes in this nozzle. What's great about this as well is that you get 120 ml for about 39 Canadian or 35 US. So really great value for money. This can be used not only in the face but in the arms, in the neck, decolletage, even your legs for a shoot or anything like that. This is an amazing evening out skin tone. The next face or complexion product is my favorite powder the only powder that i have from mac and i think this is their best product honestly it's their msf mineralized skin finish this is in natural now just for reference i'm a mac nc30 and what i use for the face and body is c3 so i do veer more towards the cool tones that my msf that i use which looks like this is in medium plus now an MSF is a mineralized or it's a, it's a mineral powder that's pressed and baked onto the pan and it just gives the most natural finish that is not matte but I use it on a daily basis to set foundation and I absolutely love how natural this looks but giving you still some sort of coverage. The next one is my go-to concealer from mac and this is not the studio fix concealer this is the select cover-up which looks like so now um what i like about this is using it as an under eye brightening concealer you need very little and i'll show you guys the the shade that i use here is nc30 all you do all i do is tap it under my eye like this and sometimes i can go lower to the sides of my nose down the center of my nose and sometimes lower like on my higher cheekbone and just patting it in it just does amazing um, I think it's the the consistency and the thinness and the formulation and it just really melts into the skin and gives it such a lifting effect without creasing and it does an instant lift effect I don't know if you guys can see that but I think it is definitely a necessity when you're doing a smoky eye or anytime I put eye makeup, I like a brightening concealer. The next one is another mineralized face product. This is a mineralized blush. This is Warm Soul and it doesn't look 
like much on the pot same concept as the msf it's a mineral blush mineral powder that is baked into the pan this has a bit of a shimmer or sheen to it which most of the mineralized blush or complexion products have but this one just gives a universally flattering warming color to the cheeks it looks very pale on the pan but once you actually have it on your cheek it creates a, a very muted rose warmth that just looks natural on all on different skin tones and it's beautiful with a bright lip because it's just a very muted subtle blush and on every on different skin types it shows up differently but the common factor it gives is really a, a natural warmth to the skin cream base and this is hush this is one of my favorite cream highlighters usually you could put it in your cupid's bowl and you can see how it highlights that or sometimes on the bridge of your nose I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has a very natural sheen to it or the tops of your cheeks. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it gives a natural sheen. And even on below your brow or below your brow or on your brow bone. So definitely one of my, let me see the back of my hand. I don't know if you can see this sheen. That's Hush. The next one is, this is not a staple, but it's one of the best highlighters that I have and I think it's a must have from MAC. This is their Iridescent Loose Powder in Silver Dusk. You need very little of this. I don't know if you guys will see that, but that's how it looks. It gives the most beautiful there you go. It gives the most beautiful sheen on the on your cheeks or a highlight. It has a bit of shimmer particles, but that's how it looks. So for a special event or a night out or even for a wedding shoot or something, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is Silver Dusk. Now for eye products. My holy grail well not holy grail but my staple for years now this is the painterly paint pot or the paint pot in painterly which looks like so this is my go-to eye base eye primer it's a cream base but it really does amazing and evening out the redness or canceling out the redness on my lids and evening out the skin tone and just amazing for prepping it for shadow and having the shadow um, adhere to it so much more so very good um, multi-purpose eye base the next one is the product that actually inspired me to do this video this is the MAC PowerPoint cool pencil in stubborn brown and I have been using this for years now since I discovered it it is a grayish a grayish brownish black it looks more brown on the back of my hand but on my eyes it just looks like a brownish black it's such a good definer without being too strong on a daily basis this is what I like using because it's a subtle definer but still has impact and it does very well when you smudge it on your lash line with a smudger it just looks very natural yet really opens up your eye the next one are the four shadows from mac that are my go-to shadows and i think they're must-haves this is a customized quad that i have i'm gonna go from top to bottom left to right this one which is almost empty is called blank type it's a matte and i use it as a base for my entire lid this one is brune sorry this one is wedge it's this shade right here this is a beige tan matte and it's I use it on a daily basis as a contour this one is brune and this one I use sometimes to define my crease but I also use it often such as now to define my brows and 
I think it's amazing for that if I don't want it to be too strong. And of course, Carbon, which is Max Matte Black, which I can use to create more drama on the crease or even as an eyeliner when I use it wet. So these four shades to me are basics. I carry them with me all the time, as you can see, and they're just an amazing go-to and if I don't have anything else or don't have any time you can just throw this in your kit anytime and they work really really well so those are my four must-have daily MAC shades for lips I have two products I don't really have a go-to lipstick but I do have a go-to lip pencil and I grabbed the wrong one but anyway the MAC lip pencil and cherry is my holy grail red lip liner it just goes universally well with a lot of the red lip colors that i like and i usually favor a lot of the blue toned reds which is really more flattering and cherry is the closest blue toned lip liner there is and even on its own it looks amazing you can just fill in your lip with that the um, Next one is, and with the cherry lip liner, it also I also find that it works really well on multiple skin tones, not just to my skin tone, but even on darker or lighter or fairer skin tones, it looks amazing. The one and only lip gloss I will mention, although I do like a lot of MAC lip glasses, this is the Plush Glass in Ample Pink, which is what I have right now. It is the most beautiful mid-tone pink that looks very nude but just beautiful on the lip. It's opaque but it's extra, it has an extra sheen to it. And it looks like a collagen plumped lip. It gives me the same finish or effect as my Lip Fusion glosses without the minty plumping sensation. This is Ample Pink. And then I have a nail polish that I, I wouldn't say, well, I think it's a very good nude and I every time they release this or I come across this, I think they included this in the Apres, Apres collection, which was one of their last collections. And the first time I came across this was a summer collection, I believe 2010. This is called Hanging Loose and it's a cream. So it was re-promoted in the Apres collection. I just came across it and I... I loved it. I used up the first bottle I had and it's the polish I have right now. It's a beautiful, just a very clean nude, not really much pigment or beigeness to it. It just looks very natural and clean. So it's one of those, one of my favorite nudes. Last but not the least, I will share two MAC brushes with you guys. They're both complexion brushes. This is the MAC 138 tapered brush, which looks like so. What? What I like about this brush, it's, it's, it's very functional and has a lot of purposes and it works well in each one. You can I can use it to contour and I use that with my NARS Luster. I used to use this as well as a highlight brush. It does amazing with that as well and you can do it on the side as a, as a blush as well. Now, I just love the density of the brush, how soft it is and how it just allows me to shape my face given its tapered kind of shape. The next one is, I think, one of the best blush brushes in the market ever. It's it's a staple. It's a holy grail. And this is the MAC 116. It's a blush brush. And what I like about it is the shape that it has. It's great for applying blush by patting the product in your skin. It just allows you to lay the product or the blush perfectly on your cheeks or the apples of your cheeks depending where you want it or if you want it far back or maybe a bit lower. Even for contour products it does amazing and I think what's beautiful about this brush is the shape it has. It just sits perfectly on your cheeks and the density allows you to pick up product and lay it and pat it right where you want it. So I guess that's about it. I hope that was informative and interesting for you guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.